What's up everybody, Tommy here, Math Productions, and uh, another mod review video, this one specifically on, uh, I like to thank a, a channel friend of mine, my homie BadClams83 Gaming, and uh, they put out great content videos, you definitely should go check out their channel, uh, tons of Starfield content, some other content, um, but specifically, I am horrible, I'm, so I was about to say I'm horrible at math, that's not fair, I'm decent at math, but uh, like in context of this, two and two, I was having a hard time putting together, and uh, Bad Clams actually is a mod maker of some fantastic mods that I've been sleeping on, uh, two specifically that I wanted to uh, grab right away and uh, show off on screen, I absolutely enjoy them already. So much so, they're in the main load order for our main playthrough series. As you can see, we left uh, Dazra to come to Aquila City. One of the mods we downloaded, it uh, is specific to Aquila City, so that's why we came here. You see them on screen, you saw the collection at the beginning on screen for Bag Clams, and you see them in the load order. You see the box right here. This is a mod that adds a crate with all of the uh, quest reward weapons as well as ammo uh, right here one-stop shop super convenient if you're trying to play like a, a dedicated quote realistic playthrough potentially not uh, one that you would put on the list but uh, if you're not trying to go through and play all these things or earn all these things or if maybe even worst case Bugs have you locked out of a quest, you can't move forward and progress, you don't have an opportunity to get these weapons on your own. This is a fantastic mod uh, without having to go to extreme lengths like downloading the actual cheat terminal itself. At minimum now, you can at least pick up the rewards for yourself. The other mod that I picked up off of uh, Bad Clam's portfolio, it reworks how the legendary effects work on weapons and armor and i actually think it's super cool here in a moment you'll see on screen that we kind of test out one of these weapons that we're about to grab here uh, which has some updated legendary effects i know that the screen i was clicking through fairly quickly but you did get to see most all of the weapon uh, the weapon legendary effect changes it's just uh for a lot of them minor changes on the percentage that the legendary effect occurs on others it's more drastic the space adept uh, legendary feature gets completely reworked as space ranger makes it actually something that you don't just immediately want to ignore or drop the gun off top <laughs> and uh it's super super cool so like I said, here in a moment, I test it out a little bit on screen. I don't necessarily test it out in, in, in an extensive way. I believe one of the legendary mo uh, effects on this even is a uh, specific to human enemies. We don't go after human enemies. Spoiler, we're not about to rampage Aquila City. But uh, yeah, like I said, I really enjoy these mods. If you do want to check them out long term, again, I do have both of these now added to our main load order. Uh, for the playthrough series, and uh, side note on the playthrough series, uh, probably our end game for this uh, current iteration is going to be completing our playthrough of the uh, Shattered Space DLC. After that, I've been eyeing another mod on the creations page that'll let us skip to the Unity, basically it will, and uh, I think we might do that. I think that because with the update, anytime I go into a major city, I'm having a lot of uh, apparel glitches from just the base vanilla assets. And I'm thinking maybe if we jump to the Unity, we can update. I got like two handfuls of mods in the load order that need to be updated. And I think that if we jump to the Unity, I update all the mods, clean up the load order, and uh, maybe add another couple handful or two of uh, mods that I got my eye on. Um, and Because I really want to check out too, so Bad Clams has these Type-C um, starships that 
what I'm assuming they're like pre-made that you can pick up or purchase from a ship technician and they look mega dope and I saw on the creations page there's tons of other uh, ships that can be uh, downloaded and I'm assuming like I said purchased from ship technicians and I think that'd be super cool we need to get our piloting skills up to be able to play with those even uh, Bad Clams has a type B uh, starship that you could get we only have an A currently so we can't test any of those out yet but potentially here in the future like I said check out Bad Clams uh, 83 gaming on YouTube. They have uh, tons of videos that show off these mods in far more depth and detail and uh, Check out the playthrough series if you want to see us testing them out out in in the action in the field And I hope that you enjoy the mods. I hope you enjoy this video If you do I hope you press the like button if you want to see these mods in action in the playthrough series I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and again, I hope you jump over to Bad Clams Gaming and uh, check out their channel as well. And as always, let me know in the comments down below what you think, what you want to see next. And uh, take care till next time.